So Jamie, um, probably describe him as the one of the most professional people I think I've met. I think Jamie, in terms of his preparation, um, is, is second to none. I think that there is there's a reason why Jamie is so resilient. Um, why he plays 80 minutes most of the time. He looks after himself extremely well, from nutrition to fitness to rest. He's uh, really in tune with his, himself, his body. He understands how how um, and what he needs to do to, to put in a performance and you know, Jamie's incredibly durable, you know, picked up a couple of injuries in his career but not, not many uh, and that's a credit to him in terms of uh, him preparing himself. You know injuries I think a, a, a lot of them can be negated so a lot of them are wear and, not wear and tear but I think you can prepare yourself and, and, and prep your body to a certain degree to, to prepare for games and then there's the impact injuries and that's effectively what I got I mean there's I couldn't negate it for a guy putting his knee in my back and um, yeah I broke uh, one sorry L2 3 and 4 it was sore and um, it was grand the next day I reckon I could have played the following week the, the chamber the chamber yeah I came across the chamber Gordon Darcy put me onto the chamber he was telling me about the how it, it aids healing and um, the kind of the science behind it looked it up talked to the, the docs about it and um, yeah, gave it a go. And it's, it's, well, it's pretty lonely. You're pretty much in a tin tube that's no more than three meters long, less than a meter wide, but um, you're in there for about, all in all, about an hour and a half. Um, I, I found, I, I tend to be a good healer anyway, and I found that it definitely um, expediated that. And for when I was injured, it was great. And then I looked into how it helps in general, your general recovery. I'm always trying to try and learn up more about that side of the sport. And um, this summer I have been, yeah, I've been doing it three times a week. I have to get up to 10 sessions and then I'll do it once a week throughout the season. The legacy you could leave behind is, uh, is how to be the ultimate professional, you know? Um, and if he just keeps doing that, and he's done that really, probably not by actually uh, saying that out loud, he's just done it. The way Jamie is so professional demonstrates really well to what you've got to do and you know there wouldn't be a training that we do where Jamie doesn't stay longer and try to just be really good at this or really good at that um, to make sure that when he goes out the next time that he he is as good as he can be. I think it's like it's on one hand the length of games I've missed in Lansdowne and in the Aviva so um, I just love playing in that place. Same playing with the RDS, I just I just want to play.